Welcome to Ikeda. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss formation of the Vibus matrix using direct inspection method. Vibus matrix is very important to carry out the load flow study. There are various methods are available to obtain this Vibus matrix. Out of those various available method, direct inspection method is quite simple method as it takes very small time to compute the Vibus matrix. So let us understand how to compute the Vibus matrix using direct inspection method. So let us begin that. So dear students, in last lecture, we have seen how to formulate this admittance matrix or what we can call as bus matrix of the given power system now we will be discussing or we'll be dealing with the different methods of obtaining the y bus matrix see here while dealing with calculation of the y bus matrix by direct inspection method if you are going with the direct inspection method, make sure that the point, key point to be con uh, considered or to be taken care of while making use of this method to use this method or I must write instead of writing this uh, point I should I will write this method is applicable for the power system without mutual coupling power system without mutual coupling as well as without that regulating or phase shifting transformer. So this is very important point. If there is a mutual coupling or if there is a regulating transformer in between in the power system, then this method will not hold good. Okay, you will find very uh, difficulties. So that is why I have written here. It is applicable only if there is a no mutual coupling and uh, that is the absence in the absence of the regulating transformer okay now now let us see the methods to get the y bus matrix by using the direct inspection method we'll see the steps steps to calculate y bus matrix using direct inspection method there are only two method two steps are there we already discussed these two steps but still We'll discuss this under this heading. The first thing, diagonal elements. Diagonal elements. Okay, so diagonal elements are the summation of all the elements connected to the bus okay The line here. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is the rule one for the diagonal element. It is nothing but the summation of all the elements connected to the bus. The second one, it is related to the off diagonal element. The off diagonal elements are nothing but are negative of actual element present between two buses okay now let us see here how we can write the diagonal element for this simple three bus system after i have given here a simple three bus system i will see how we can write the y bus matrix or how we can compute the diagonal matrix or uh, admittance matrix by using direct inspection method Okay, so we'll try to write that matrix here. So I'm writing here Y bus for this given system. Let us try to compute this Y bus for this given system. Okay, so first let us try to write the diagonal elements. Diagonal elements. So we'll, we have to start with, see first you tell me what will be the order of this Y bus matrix here. As the number of buses are three, so of of course the order will be three by three. Okay, n is equal to three is equal to number of buses. Okay, so the first element it will be a diagonal element. Okay, so we'll get here y. PP. It is on the pth bus. Okay, the second diagonal element it will be Y QQ, and the third diagonal element it will be Y RR. What about the off diagonal element? Here you will get Y PQ, Y PR C. Y P Q, Y P R. You are getting here, here. Y Q P and Y Q R. Same thing for the last element Y R P Y R Q and Y R R. Okay, so these will be the this is how the y bus matrix will look like but let us see the values of these elements what will be the value of ypp what will be the value of this capital ypq okay so let us try to understand that so first i'm going to write for this diagonal element ypp it is nothing but the sum of the all the elements connected to the pth bus so it will be ypq plus ypr okay only two elements are connected to the bus p that is what two elements will come over here okay same way i can write for yqq for this q bus only two elements are connected here ypq plus YQR. What about the last diagonal element that is YRR? Again, it, it is also having only two elements. One is YPR and another is YQR. So you will get YPR here plus YQR you will get here. So these are the diagonal elements. These are the diagonal 
elements. What about the off diagonal elements? So let me write for y p q. See, it will be equal to y q p. These two terms y p q and y q p. Because just now we have this, uh, said that a y bus it is a symmetrical matrix. Okay, y bus it is of course a symmetrical matrix. So uh, along the diagonal the elements will be same. Okay, so here this y p q and as it is equal to y q p it will be nothing but negative of the actual element present between two buses. It will be between bus p and q. Between bus P and Q, Y P Q is connected, so we have to take the negative of that. Negative of Y P Q. Same way, Y P R is equal to Y R P here, this one. Between bus P and R, Y P R is equal to Y R P. It will be simply negative of y p r okay now the next diagonal element we have done with y p q or done with y p r the next diagonal element it is y q r y q r it is equal to y r q it is nothing but simply minus y of q r so this is this will give me the of di diagonal of diagonal elements okay it is quite simple i hope you understood this you need to remember this important point Okay, then you need to remember these two important steps how to calculate the diagonal element and how to uh, evaluate or how to calculate the off diagonal element. Okay, <clears throat> so we will stop here. Thank you very much.